In this chapter, we will create an intellectual framework for artistic research. But where could one start? One could start with the term itself. There are other terms for this discipline, like practice-based and practice-led research or research in the arts. These have their qualities. However, in this course, we will use artistic research because it has been adopted by the University of Music and Theatre Hamburg and because it presents the closest analogy to scientific research. Nevertheless, all of these terms have two main features. The discipline is intended as research, which means it is at the very least deeply inspired by, if not beholden to, the overarching principles of research in general. And it centralises artistic practice and is led by or based on it, which means the artistic practitioner is also the research practitioner, without separation or distance. This second principle differentiates it from the social sciences, for example, musicology, which researches facts, discourses, and even processes around musical artifacts without mixing artistic practice and research. Artistic research specifies a domain of knowledge on artistic practice that is embodied and intuitive, and can only be accessed when the artistic practitioner themselves attempts cognitively to unlock their own practice through a critical reflection, which is directly born out of their artistic goals. This allows artistic practice and critical reflection to feed back into one another, in order to create a symbiotic and hybrid form of knowledge, which is not possible when a distance is maintained between the two. It is out of this line of thought that this course is constructed. But before continuing, I'd like to note that one could develop and establish the field of artistic research by trial and error. That is to say, a lot of people do it, a lot, and as best as they can, and then use hindsight to discuss and filter qualities out of completed projects, what Kurup describes as a stock of commonly known examples of remarkable contributions, for which he sees a blatant need. To a certain extent, this is already possible today. It is, however, not the focus of this course, which instead focuses on building an intellectual foundation for the discipline, independent to the nature and quality of existing projects, to be critiqued on its own merits.